Hello, good people, and welcome to another tutorial by Data Independent. My name is Greg, and I run Data Independent. And today we're talking about pandas query, but this time with categorical variables. And the reason why we're talking about this is because, well, I look and I respond to comments. Hey, nice. Can you show or explain an example where you use dot query, open parentheses, close parentheses, to filter a categorical variable? Now, for those who have questions about what is a categorical variable, it's basically just labels. It's like red, green, blue. Now, that's versus a numerical or continuous variable, like one, two, three, four, or a range of numbers. Um, anyway, so thank you, Mudbone, 16 hours ago, and let's jump right into it. Um, so first thing we're gonna do over here is just import pandas as PD, because that's the library we're working with. Import pandas as PD, great. And then we're gonna need to create a data frame for us to work with. And so this one, I'm just doing a data frame from Dict because it's easy to communicate. Uh, we have a name and then I list out all the different uh, values I want within my name column and type and location. I'll skip the details there. Um, but basically we have a list of restaurants and bars in San Francisco, Los Angeles and New York. We have a name, a type and a location. Now, here's where we get into the good stuff. What would you use dot query for? Well, this is when you want to filter things inside your data frame. Um, there's many ways to filter. This is one of them. If it suits you, then that's great. What we're going to do here is we're actually going to do DF dot query. And this time I want to filter for where the type of the restaurant is a bar. And the way you're going to do that is you're going to say type, which represents your column. You're going to say equals equals because this is a conditional statement and this will see if two things are equal versus just one equal sign, which will do, which is an assignment. And then you're going to do open uh, quotation marks bar or the value that you want and then close quotation marks. And then I have a single quote that's going to encase my entire thing here. Now, first, let's run this so I can show you that it works, which it'll filter just for the bar values within your table within your table there. The really important part with dot query is you need to write your Python code in a string. Now, this is a little counterintuitive because normally you wouldn't write your Python code in a string if you want to see if two things are equal. Let me just show you, for example, if you want to see if one is equal to one, then you just write your regular Python expression, not in a string. However, with uh, dot query, make sure that it's encased in quotes because you're, it, you need to read it as a string um, in order to input it into dot query and for pandas to read it. Um, so that's when you want your single categorical variable to match uh, one value. But what if you wanted to match a list of values? Well, in that case, you just need to do a little bit of extra Python. Um, but what you're gonna do is df.query, starting your string, and then location. So this is my column name that I wanna look at. And then I'm gonna say in, which just basically means like, hey, is this location value in this list of things I'm about to give you? And I'm giving it a list. San Francisco and Los Angeles, close list, close parentheses, go from there. And it will only return the values which are true, which is why it gives me San Francisco and Los Angeles right here. And it excludes the uh, New York value. Uh, last thing I'll show you is the important part is that if you're, give, if you're getting a hard time right here um, and this conditional is not giving you what you want, just go run it outside of dot query and make sure that it's, that it's giving you what you need. So here, for example, I'm running location. Uh, as the column dot is in San Francisco and Los Angeles, and it gives me true, true, false, true, which helps me debug why this may or may not be working. So thank you community for the request. That is, that is pandas query with categorical variables.